Good afternoon, everyone. You're looking at the sun. The last 24 hours we'll be covering. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Saturday, December 16th at 12.38 p.m. Mountain Time. And we're going to be doing a space weather update today. The sixth plasma filament in four weeks ejected from the sun. Here is the filament in question wiggling around. Watch it. Destabilizing and out it goes. Once again, filament. Watch it. Destabilizing and off into space. Now, this is becoming a phenomenon during low geomagnetic uh, periods of the sun during this grand solar minimum. Here we are in A range, the X-ray flux. The sun is very quiet. And the solar wind is dropping down to 320 here, to the floor, as they say. We came out of KP0. We may go back into it for a short period, but here the density looks like it's coming up and the phi angle is shifting. This could be the northern coronal hole coupling with us finally here. Let's talk about the plasma filament. If we come over to Space Weather Live, you can get access to the WSA Enlil Solar Wind Prediction, both apps, both of the applications here, this one here and this one here. I'll leave you links to that. And what it's showing is this Filament Earth directed hitting us on the 21st. Now, if you watched my update yesterday, you'll know that there's a major snowstorm that is going to be hitting uh, the Northwest on the 20th and sweeping across the United States. So on the 21st, when this geomagnetic energy hits us, we'll be watching it to see what it does to this storm. We could be talking one of the first blizzards of the century on the 22nd because of this energy. That's a heads up. So we'll be watching this. Um, it looks like a minor glancing blow on the 21st from this filament here in question. This is the first of six to be actually earth directed. And we'll be seeing what a glancing blow does with a filament at solar minimum on the 21st. If we come over to Bartol real-time monitor, the last three days we've been in low KP, and you can see this is a three-day cosmic ray increase. This straight-up activity here. So you can see this is a very fine grain. But look at the cosmic ray flux here on this graph. Straight up. And several others we've been gaining over the last week and a half. Straight up on all the neutron monitors. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. And we're about to reach those levels when a gung was rumbling prior in November. So that's a heads up for a gung as we watch the cosmic ray flux increase. And with low KP, we have a seismic uptick that has slowed down, thankfully, because there was a lot of rumbling over the last 24 hours in the ring of fire here. There's a 5.4 aftershock in that Indonesian area that has caught... Uh, there are some fatalities, and the volcanoes are on the uptick. Because of that cosmic ray flux, we had an explosion at Stromboli. Fuego, Kluchaskjof, Dukono, Agung today is rumbling, Raventador, Erta Ale in Ethiopia, Sinabung. Guys, if you don't know about Erta Ale, Orita Ale, it's continuously active basaltic shield volcano. There's not a lot of data except it had a massive eruptive period in 2005. Right here at this high cosmic ray flux period, which is looking very similar to this high cosmic ray flux period that we're in right now. This is when it had a major eruptive episode here, and here we are on the solar cycle now in 24. Hmm, it looks very similar according to the space weather. Here's the data on Erta Ale. We can come over to the Soho Movie Theater. And I'll let you look at it from the back of the sun here. And there's one other thing I want to leave you with. So stay tuned. Stay with us. So this is the filament. It's going to just loop for you. And when you see eruptions that come out in look, first there's this little pulse and then the filament. So there's a little poof and then a boom. Poof, boom. 
and this is the best view we can get of it. And it, because it comes out on both sides, we know it's either coming towards us or away from us. And because we watched, we looked at the actual sun itself, we know that this filament is coming at us. Because it's facing us right now, and it's coming off of the sun towards Earth. The view we have is Earth. We're at Earth looking at the sun here. Now, here we are at Lasco C3, which is from Earth. And we'll step through here. I want to show you something. The all-seeing eye. So you can see the event. We're going in reverse, sucking back down into this sun. There, if you look at the right side, there's this, there it is. So when the event happens, it's coming out and then there. Hello. Boom. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. They are watching you. And I'm watching the sun. So we'll be watching this uh, plasma filament to come towards Earth. On the 21st, intensifying the blizzard that will be hitting the northwest, and we'll be watching it bury North America in the first blizzard of the Grand Solar Minimum. Be safe, everyone.